We are live with Family Church Youth. What's up, youthies? I'm going to call them youthies. <laughs> the youth of America. The youth. What's up, youthies? Okay, youths. you guys, whenever someone joins in, I'm going to shout them out as best as I can while we keep things going. Sabine. Sabiners. <laughs> Is that bad? Say, oh, I don't know. No, that's okay. It's Patricia. Hi, Patricia. Sabini. 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 Maxine. Zoe. I see you, Zoe. Let's Max make some ramen. Maxers. Donna Lope. Donna Zo Lope 477. Zo What's up? Donna. Not Donna Mai. <laughs> Donna Mai. You guys. You guys. Bam. Welcome to <laughs> Family Church Youth Cooking. Hillary Ansel. Really? The hill. Lena, what's up, Auntie Lena? Cha -cha. Cha -cha. <laughs> okay, you guys, welcome to Family Church Youth. Youth Rama. You guys. Youthers. What are we making? <laughs> Let's cook it up. Okay, you guys, if you don't know who we are, go ahead, honey. Introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, my name's uh Christian Nordoff. Uh, you could call me Chef Christian, Chef, or whatever you want. Um, I am a sous chef. I work for Southern California Hospital of Culver City uh, on the front lines, feeding the patients and the doctors. Yes. Uh, we have about 300 patients. Um, and actually, we're slow right now. COVID is down. Just a little good news. It's really we good. We only really have like 30 COVID patients for a 300 room hospital. It's pretty awesome. Anyways, uh, I've been in the culinary industry since 2007. Uh, I've worked at Angel Stadium, The Pond for Aramark, doing concessions. I worked in restaurants. I spent about 10 years in hotels. Uh, I've worked all the positions from dishwasher to server to busser to host to prep cook to pantry cook to line cook to everything and I made my way to sous chef. Um, God has really blessed me in my career. It's only, yes. it's only because of God and uh, his plan for my life. And uh, I want to say he has a plan for your life. He has an amazing plan for your life. Seek the Lord. Follow Jesus. Read his word. Pray to him, have a relationship with him, and he will guide your life, and he will bless you beyond yes. beyond whatever you could ever ask or imagine. He, Amen. He will do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's take up an Hello, offering. Hello, somebody. Let's take up an offering. <laughs> um, yeah, that's who I am. Yes, and you guys, I'm his wife, Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> and I love youth. I did... I worked with junior highers for like 12 years and I'll tell you, junior high and high school is not the same. So you guys, I'm so glad that we're here for you today and we're going to be cooking up some basic staples that you guys have at home. If you guys are cooking with us. Does anybody have the materials to cook? The ramen, oh, yeah. the egg, the, sam the bread, the mm -hmm. stuff? things yes because let's remind them what we're doing today is we're doing super basic hey can we give a big confetti emojis to our youth pastors cody and liz Woo Cody and Liz! boom 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 can you guys just like blow up this feed with bunch of confetti for them because they wanted us to uh show you the basics they're paying us lots of money oh my so, gosh no, yeah you guys <laughs> we won't ever have to work for life <laughs> so, how many of you guys are cooking already? Are, are going to cook with us? Put the, yeah, the real den rip. The real den rip. I see. Yes, Miranda. I see those. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm the sous chef today. So, <laughs> honey, wherever you want to start, I'm going to be lifting uh, up well, the camera. Just oh, yeah. let you guys know that um, as I'm talking. Uh, yes. and you're listening, I'm going to say some things and at the end, um, there will be a little one question pop quiz for a giveaway. Yes. Uh, uh, Memphis bib, bib apron like yes, this, very cool jean apron. Uh, Cody will be delivering it to your house what? personally no to whoever um, answers the question at the end correctly. So be paying attention, be listening. Yes. And uh, I, I like Let's to let see. you know that my hat this is a classic hat called a toque. A toque. Uh, she's wearing a 
beanie cap. Beanie cap. Uh, so who knows? Lady. That's going to be a question at the end. Anyways, um, what are we doing? So th that's a toke. So you guys, if you just tuned in, if you like this apron, you might just be able to win one. Okay, so we're going to go to um, your setup. All right. Guys, if you're cooking with us, oh my gosh, please let us know. I'm so excited. Oh, well, thank you, Magalani. <laughs> <laughs> um, here Nayeli, thank you for joining us. I'm so sorry. Go ahead, what? honey. <laughs> um, Haley. Here we have all, all my setup. All, oh, yeah, you all... know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn this around. Mm -hmm. Can I? You're going to do the thing? Watch yeah, turn, okay, you guys. I'm going to go off. back and forth. <laughs> No, no, I'm gonna uh, yeah, turn around. Okay, so, so, here so we go. this, these are our ingredients right here, all nicely placed. And uh, in culinary industry, uh, this is very important. We call it mise en place, and it's French for everything in its place. Mise en so, place. Every time I cook, uh, usually I want to get everything in its place. I want to get everything ready and everything set up, so that when I begin to cook, I'm not going to the fridge. I'm not running over here. I have everything ready right here. So you always want to have your mise en place ready. And so we got our bread uh, and our cheese and our ham and our um, butter to make the grilled cheese. Now, whenever you make a grilled cheese, you want to always, this is what you need. You want that real butter to get that golden crispy Ooh, bread. Uh, so we're going with a classic uh, Swiss and ham. Swiss and ham. Uh, grilled cheese sandwich. Grilled cheese. We got our, uh, our, uh, our imitation top ramen. How do you pronounce that? Marushan. How Marushan. many of you guys like Marushan? Look at, <laughs> look at the little boy, oh cute. I think it's like 10 cents cheaper than top ramen or something. Or like 25 cents cheaper. Anyways, I got shrimp flavor. I like the shrimp flavor. Uh, chicken's cool, beef. What's up, Liz? Lizard. Lizard? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, we're, we're, we're um, shouting out, you guys. When <laughs> someone comes in, we're going to shout them out. Nelly! Yes! So, Girls! Uh, any girls who are trying to make this to learn this do it and boys <laughs> so you could actually do a lot of things with yes. this ramen um you could add whatever you want to it some people are like masters at it and they can make wow. like they can make like whole entire meals out of out of ramen top ramen yeah um yeah so today what we're going to be adding is we're going to be adding an egg <gasps> and then we have some other condom some condiments uh soy sauce we should give it like an Asian flair along with garlic, um, chili garlic paste, wow. uh, which I love, or just your tapatio, which I, I like to call taps. And um, Hi, Mr. Tapatio. I actually know a what, guy what, what, what? that, he looks like the tapatio man. Really? Yeah, he's my buddy, his name's Jose. Um, okay, for those who are on budget, how much will it cost for these ingredients? That's a <laughs> cost, great question, Lena. This is, this is what I ate in Bible, I, I spent two years in Bible college and I ate this almost every night and it cost me like, a dollar a day. <laughs> what? Yeah. And then, you know, you guys, these are kind of common staples that you have in the fridge, hopefully. Nelly, all, okay, Nelly is having all her kids watch. Isn't that awesome? Nelly, give yes. it up for the kids watching. Hey, kiddos. Kids. You, Youth of America. You can learn to cook for yourself. Yes. <laughs> and it's just, it's just this. Okay, so we're okay, going to start, guys, so we're going to start with the ramen. And uh, as you can see, I already have my water boiling. Okay, water's boiling. I have guys. a confession to make. Uh, our stove was filthy. Yes. <laughs> and I scrubbed it down. Yeah, you guys. We do so much cooking. It looks dirty. Anyways, it's really nice. I would clean. say this is the one room in the entire house that we spend the most time in because we like to cook. We be cooking. Right? We be cooking. So, Cocinamos. Um, Cocinamos. I like to have. I like to have my water boiling already. Yes. And then I add my uh, ramen noodles. Oh, Sabini has all the ingredients except for the ramen. Oh. Sabini, if you need some ramen, I could put it on my doorstep. You're, we're like 10 minutes from each other. Hell, what's up, Sean? What's up, Lisea? I'm waving. FFC Youth is waving at you. Michaela, come on in. You guys, come on in. So, what did you just do? Oh, so I put, I had the water boiling. I like to start off with the water boiling and then... Uh, Ooh, how much water boiling? 
Uh, How much water? You use the recommended amount on the packet, which is um, two cups. You guys, I know it. This is I always make this like at midnight. I just put some water in the pot and then <laughs> two cups though. You guys, such a popping crowd. I don't put a lot of water, and then sometimes I don't use the whole packet yeah, because it's really high in sodium. sodium. No MSG, bad. So, but you know, there's no tasty. MSG. Oh well, okay. Well, sometimes they do have it. In it's there, just really so high in watch sodium. Those ingredients. And you guys, what is sodium? For all you high schoolers and the table periodic table of elements, sodium is... It's NaCl, which is... Uh, sorry. No, yeah, no, no. To keep on going. Um, it's Na... Yeah, it's Na... What, you guys, this is a great science question for all of you high school students who are learning at sodium home right now. Sodium chloride, right, or something? Sodium? Well, I don't know. Is sodium chloride bad? I think that's Anyways, I got the little, the little packet. Okay, so and, here we uh, did. I'm just gonna throw oh, you some, do it right ooh, now? Look at that. Yeah, I'd like so to you, do it right now. Okay, so you um, could do that, but I, what I do is I follow the instructions, too. Sometimes you put it at the end. After you know, I'm not really the type of guy that follows instructions, and it's got me in trouble a lot, but... <laughs> But um, it turned out well. But this is working right here. Yes. So, so. the noodles are starting to cook. I really want to get it to a nice boil for when we drop in that egg. Okay, so you guys, we're dropping in an egg. If some of you guys like to, you prefer that. I don't like my ramen with egg, but I like I'll, it. He loves it. I he loves it. I love it. There's so many ways to make top ramen marushan. You could have sauteed some onion, carrots, oh, and celery, which is garlic. called mirepoix. Those three things are called mirepoix. Ooh, okay. And there's a ratio to it, 50% onion, 25% carrot, 25% celery. Um, it's almost in every soup that you could ever have. Right, uh, Ruby? Yeah. So you, yeah. you could saute that and, and then add your water and then start your ramen. You could just so many things to do with ramen. Yes. So our... Um, Water is boiling. Ramen and, with egg um, is yummy. Nayeli likes the, just, the egg and the ramen. I just dropped the egg. Nayeli, this one's for you. I did it with one hand because oh, I'm a professional. You guys, I can't do that. I can't do that. I have to do it with two hands. You're going to to tip it at the edge, you know? So I'm going to put the lid back on. Be Isabella likes the egg too, but Ruby's like is me. egg cool. I like the who's egg. Who's team egg? The... You guys, shout out. Type in who's team egg and who's team not egg. Team egg. Team egg. I'm team um, green egg. And then so we're going to let it. So we're gonna let it cook. Uh, we're gonna let it boil. If you want to get a sh shot of that. Yes, you uh, guys. It's boiling. It will cook, yeah, and then uh, the yolk will uh, cook last. Of course, the the egg white's gonna cook first. Then the yolk will finally cook, and then uh, I I break it up inside. So then you have little pieces of egg, and you'll see right now. Yes, Magalani's team no egg, but Nayeli's team egg, and Max says everything's better with an egg. With what about a, a burger? Have you ever had a <gasps> burger with a fried egg on top? Hey, you guys, hey, <laughs> have you guys had a ramen burger? Ramen burger? Yes, there's these places that make the ramen burger. How many of you have ever had, um, oh, maybe a hard-boiled egg? Makalani, you know, hey, you guys, a lot of times in um, Korean uh, ramen, they do hard-boiled sliced eggs. Should you cover the pot while it's cooking? That's um, a great if, question, if, Lena. If you wanna, if you wanna make sure that it's boiling, yeah. If you got uh, a stove that uh, gives off really high heat, yeah. Um, sometimes you don't have to cover it. Uh, our stove is kind of old, so yeah. Don't get much high heat, so that's why I cover it to let it really boil and cook. But if you got like a newer stove, you you, you probably don't have to cover it because it's gonna have a rolling boil. Uh, boil. Boil. So um, if you wanna check it out. Let me turn around, let me turn around. Our egg should be kind of wow. cooked. It's still not cooked, Ooh. but I'm breaking the yolk. Hey, yo, Richie, thanks for joining. So you can see it's starting to cook now. You're right, Makalani. Burger with egg might as well be a loco moco. Hey, if you guys go to Fat Burger, you have the option of putting an egg on your burger. <gasps> Isabella William Berlin, mom of boys, thanks for joining. How many of you guys are cooking ramen with us on this on this rainy day here in Southern California? That might be loud, eh? <laughs> Nelly Ramos, hey nephew, nephew, who nephew? Shout out to nephew. What's the nephew's name? Cause we'll shout it out. Shout, shout, shout it out. Shout, shout, shout it out. So you guys, so far, um, um, if you guys just joined us, you have a chance to win an apron just like Chef Christian here. We've talked about his hat is called a toque. We've, we've talked about he has had everything in place, which is called mise en place. This is so far 
mise en place. What else did we talk about? Um, I can't remember. Oh, um, uh, mirepoix. You guys, mirepoix. Mirepoix is onion, carrot, celery. Like when you make a soup, it's like a staple. Yeah? Richie, what's up, Richie? Just learning today. You guys, that's what it's all about. This is a basic, basic class just so that you guys, you kiddos. So here we got our ramen and uh, our egg is cooked. Awesome. And you can see it's, it's all uh, falling apart in there. Now, like I said, um, you could add the soy sauce, uh, and that will give it like uh, not too much, but it'll give it a, a real nice flavor, that Asian flavor, that Asian yeah. soft flavor, which which I really like to go with. So I'm gonna add a little soy sauce, and it adds a little bit more salt. So you just gotta watch out for that. Just add a little bit. You just want that flavor in there. And then um, this is like one of my secret weapons. Yeah. This is garlic chili sauce or chili paste, and I love this. It's amazing. It lasts forever. If you it go, does. if you go to an uh, American, um, like a Chinese, Chinese uh, fast food spot, they have this like on yes. every table. Ooh. And it's it's actually like a Vietnamese staple too, but they use it in so many. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this, and I'm gonna add it in there, and I'm gonna add some heat and wow. spice to it, and then. Uh, that's it right there. That's my ramen right wow. there. Wow. Uh, you could, sometimes I just skip all that and I just throw some tapatio in there. Tapatio. This, you throw tapatio on anything and it's awesome. Yes. You can put it on your cereal. You could put it on your oatmeal. You could put it on anything and it will. Eggs. It, it will enhance. Hash browns. The, the flavor. Pizza. You guys, how pizza. many of you guys put tapatio on pizza? We love using tapatio and um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, the pickle juice. What's the no, you pepperoni? Like, you like the pepperoni juice you like, you and tapatio. Right? Yes, same. It looks good, Ruby. I want to try it. Ooh, you guys, ranch on pizza. Okay, so we're gonna start with our. Um... Oh my gosh, honey, we have a boy. The real den. Hey, the real den. I'm still trying to boil it. The real den. Are you cooking with us? Cause that makes everything better. Maybe cover it. And it'll Danny. Start okay, to that's a, Danny. Come to a boil. Yes. Sometimes the water will uh, boil faster after you cover it. Um, oh, this water is life. Live water. Live water. So, What's up, Pastor Cody? I'm waving at you. Oh, no, you guys. I'm so sorry. How in the world? Wow, I just learned something new. I double tapped and it turned around. Okay, so so what's up, Pastor Cody? He just joined us. Joined in. By the way, you guys, Cody's birthdays. Monday on May the 4th be with you. Don't forget. So we're going to move on to our sandwich. Uh, so I got a nonstick pan. When when you do a grilled cheese sandwich, a nonstick pan is preferable than uh, a stainless steel pan mm -hmm. um, so that uh, it doesn't stick, of course. That's why you got a nonstick pan. Um, and then whenever you use a nonstick pan, you want to use tongs that are safe. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to use these to scratch up your pan. Uh, these tongs have uh, what is that really? silicone it's silicone oh. because then otherwise when you scratch up your pan then things will stick and then yeah, non stick's yeah, not going to be non stick anymore, anymore right it's not it's sticking. Sticking. so i'm going to add this butter <gasps> to the pan and uh i love i love butter there's a skit on snl where they have paula dean eating a, a, a pound of butter and uh mantequilla i, I uh, you could put butter on your steak you could put butter on your cereal. You could put butter on your oatmeal. You could put butter on everything. You could put it in your soda. Uh, and then you really want to get your bread in there. And uh, really make sure that it's soaking up that butter. It's drinking it. Drink it. I drink, drink it up. the butter. I drink your milkshake. Drink um, the butter. You know what? I... I I think I just want a little more butter. Okay, so you guys. I'm <laughs> gonna add a little more butter. I want butter. I like the butter, I told you. Um, so, yeah, it's gonna soak it up. And then, uh, have you ever made a grilled cheese where the cheese didn't melt? <laughs> well, there's all kinds of little tricks you could do. You, if you had a pot of boiling water, you could dip it in there and then throw it on your sandwich. It, it, it helps melt it real quick. Um, while you're toasting your bread, you could just throw your cheese right there mm. for like a, like a second. How many of you guys like holes in your Swiss cheese? And then I'm just salted. Gonna, oh, um, good question. Salted butter. 
Uh, I that is unsalted butter. Ooh, look um, at that. I use salted butter Love for it. certain things, and then um, I let it sit there just a little too long. But it's all nice and melted. Danny, how you doing? <laughs> Ruby likes cheese. You guys, type in your favorite cheese. cheese. If you're a cheese fan. Type in your favorite cheese. I love a uh, smoked Gouda is good. Smoked Gouda. Or, Christian likes or, smoked uh, Gouda. Some gray air. Just Hillary French. loves holy cheese. Gruyere. What kind of cheese? Holy cheese. The cheese holy with cheese. holes. Yeah. Is it holy to the Lord? Yes. Holy. Um, so then we got our ham. We're just going to warm up my ham a little bit. Yeah, Nayeli, mozzarella. How many of you guys mozzarella like... Mozzarella is good. Ooh, goat cheese. Hillary's mozzarella. a goat cheese goat fan. Goat cheese. I love Gina goat Polo. cheese. How many of you guys like monster cheese? I love goat cheese with uh, crackers. <gasps> oh my gosh, pepper jack. I'm a huge fan of pepper jack. Pepper jack. Liz McQueen likes honey goat. All right, so we got our ham. That's uh, awesome. Nice and little toasty. Let's see if our bread is... Oh, Me yeah, too, Mark golden Lonnie. brown. I like oh my gosh, yeah. I, nice you know, and and you think I can flip this? Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys want to see if I can flip this? He is the, the flip master. I don't know. I don't know if I can do it today. Oh! oh. Hey, yo, 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 yo! <laughs> if I had cheese on the other side, I think it would have sticked together. Anyways, there's our grilled cheese. You guys. Uh, we're going to take this and just... that grilled cheese. How many of you guys right learned something about grilled cheese today? Because I've never put that much butter on mine. I like it does. buttery. You got to have it buttery. I know. I, I like to keep keep it a little bit less buttery. But butter is good. You know, I, uh, Parmesan on the crust. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Who said that? Who knows Macalani. about that? Macalani. 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 Um, Catherine, thanks I worked for at a ho I worked at a hotel where we would get wheat bread. And we would put parm butter and then parm. Uh, it was a, a, a garlic butter spread. Put Parmesan, put it on the flat top, toast it. And then uh, we would add cranberry and turkey with arugula. And oh, I love arugula. Was, it was amazing. I think there was goat cheese in there too. Yes. Anyway, so we're going to cut our sandwich in half. Oh, thank you, Hillary. The knife aquarium, right? <laughs> I know. This was a gift from... Um, Christian's mom. Look at this. It's in. It's magnetic. So then you guys put the knives in there, and they stick there. Yeah. Welcome, Julie Jules. You guys, if you guys have any questions, let us know. I'm typing it in here. Um, you can either. You can either. Here, let me turn this around. You can either like go down here. You see the little question mark right here. Oh, Julie Jules, I love you. Um, you can type in a question here and we could share it with the uh, livers, the youthers of America at Family Church, or you can ask on the screen. Bam! Or do you guys read this Mab? Is this Mab or Bam to you? So, okay, so I'm going to show you. Uh, he just plated the grilled cheese. <laughs> And then he's gonna plate the. Do you want us? Do you want me to wait till you plate the ramen? Oh no, you can just show it. Oh my gosh, we're gonna. You guys, you're gonna show oh, this. Here's the show. ramen. <laughs> okay, so here, let me show you. I'm gonna turn the camera around. Look at that, you guys. The ramen is done. Now, how many? Who likes to top the ramen with stuff? Cause that's my favorite part. We're not doing that today. We're keeping it simple. My favorite is when you put the green onions. Nelly, are you guys able to save this video as a highlight to go back for reference? Um, you know what? Well, once we're done with the live today, we're, it's going to be on Family Church Youth. And um, we can ask Cody if they could save it for the highlight for sure. That looks so good. Nayeli, I'm, I'm so glad you think it looks good. Okay, what did you just put on top of the ramen, honey? I, I, I sprinkled a little ground black pepper. Ground black pepper. You guys, do you see the pepper? It smells amazing. Mm, you see the egg, you see the chili that. flake. And um, my grandma really, would be proud of the bowl wipe for presentation. That, yes. Really, like a chef's um, signature, right? Really Yay, cool thing to do with, with ramen, something simple. Richie, I'm uh, glad you think it looks like, good. I could probably write a book, like 101 Ways to Do Ramen. Um, yes. Literally, 
literally. Uh, I'm just Crap. gonna try this real quick. Come okay. On. Okay, he's gonna it's very go. Hot. Yes. Probably gonna burn my lips. Cut open soft boiled egg on top. <gasps> Maxim Maximovich. That is a great idea. Is that really hot, honey? Yeah. Yeah. You might need to let it cool. We did just take it off the but stove. But it's so good. <laughs> yeah. No, that's really good. Um, yeah. Yeah, I got the spiciness. Uh, I got that egg flavor with the ramen. Yes. Uh, shrimp. So I got that little seafood flair going on. Um, and you guys. If you want to break out your quaiza. Yes, you, you guys. Use, uh, I'm taking these out. <laughs> chopsticks. Those are chopsticks. How many of you guys and are chopsticks? You guys, you can eat top ramen with a fork, un tenedor, or some chopsticks. And chopsticks, who wants to learn how to say chopsticks in Chinese? Which, you guys, I'm going to turn this around. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I'm the camera operator. The, the noodle, the ramen, the noodle originated in what country? What, what country do you guys think that it originated from? But does anyone know? <laughs> You guys, Cruz joined, Desiree joined. What's up, Cruz5135 and Desiree Vass. Chopsticks are the best, yes. You got the butter. The butter. With it's the like crispiness the of the bread and the, yes. the tartness of that Swiss cheese with the ham and steaming. Oh, that's a good guess. No. Here, that's, so that's good. a good guess. You guys, uh, the noodle originated from China. There's a really good book out there called the Noodle On the Noodle Road. I think it's called On the Noodle Road. There's a whole history about the noodle that goes yeah. back like thousands yeah. of years, back before Christ. <laughs> the noodle. AD. AD. It like it's, it was part of the Han Dynasty in China. And what happened was it traveled to Italy, excuse they me. They invented top ramen. I think no. Well, the noodle in general. And then they went to um <laughs> They went into Italy and the Middle East and, and like every culture has its own noodles, right? Look at that. Look at that. Ramen, ramen, you guys. Well, that's cheese. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I'm just saying. Um, but chopsticks. Why is it? Hey, do you guys have any questions for Chef Christian? I ha I see a question down here. I'm gonna open it up and see. Oh, look at you guys. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this one up on the Hillary Ansel. Send us a question. How exciting, Chef Christian. What is your favorite dish to make? That's a great question. I get asked that question a lot um, as a chef. And I love everything from salads to steaks. Oh, I love steaks. But I have to say my favorite dish to make and eat is pasta. Ooh, pasta. Because you can do so much with it. There's so many sauces. There's so many different types of pastas. You got fettuccine, penne, fusilini. Um, fusilli. Fusilli. Um, oh, yeah, angel, it. angel hair. I mean, there's... I so like many it. different things you could do with it. The other night I made a shrimp pomodoro yes, pasta. pasta. And it's easy and it's cheap. Yes. One thing about pasta is it'll cost you like $10 to make, but when you go out and eat it, it's like $25 or right? something like that. What's up, Maddox? Maddox joined us. Woohoo! Yeah, absolutely. Pasta. Okay, you guys, there's another, there's a, cu a couple other questions. Okay. Let's see. Oh, how is the church helping families in the church? Amazing question, you guys. Family Church in Whittier and Long Beach. We have a, first we have a awesome, huge care team. If you know of anyone who needs help or you would like to help, like you would like to volunteer in any way that you can, maybe you have organization skills, maybe you like to bag groceries, whatever. Um, our uh, church email is care at familychurch.co. And you can send in prayer requests. You can send in like, hey, I have two hours a week to give. Or I know a family that I live next to that needs help. And every Saturday from 11 to 1, I believe, we have a, a food pantry. And we we, ha we provide food for people. We have a clothing pantry. Or cl I'm sorry, clothing bouquet. Bouquet. Boutique. <laughs> boutique. And if there's any other needs, we got you. The church is... The hospital of the world, right? And we have a church in Whittier and Long Beach to do that for you. Yeah, Family Church, uh, Compassion Ministries. Yes. Thank you, Catherine. Uh, one of my favorite, I boast about it constantly, is, is is our food pantry. I mean, 
our our kit our we have a big kitchen and pantry that that feeds people gives away hundreds of bags of groceries to the community all in the name of love all in the name of jesus christ and and touching lives just helping people and god is really doing great things through the compassion ministries at family church yes yes give it up we do we have an awesome team you guys okay look there is another oh we got two more questions Okay, this question comes from Sabrina West of the West family in Whittier. So good. <laughs> I know, it smells really good, you guys. It smells like spicy Mongolian goodness. Does Christian know how to make homemade bread? Okay, now here's where these questions... Okay, Christian is a... a I mean, he's a trained professional chef. But do you like to bake, honey? Eh. Yeah, <laughs> I know. So... It's way different. When it comes to bread... He's not into it, but you guys, I'm not not saying not to jump in or anything. Okay, I'm just I'm just the sous chef. Ooh, my glasses are steaming up. It's so hot. Sorry, uh, she's the it baker. Is you guys, I'm she's a baking baker. fanatic. I used to work in a bakery, and I was just always obsessed with learning how to bake. So, yes, baking bread. Oh, it's so good. Look, if you want to bake wow. bread, go online, Google some know, recipes, right? and bake some bread at home. People are always asking me for recipes. Like, oh, what's the recipe? And I'm like, uh, you could Google it. <laughs> You could, you could Google that and get like 20 recipes. Like, go bake some bread. Go make some pasta. Go make some stuff. Make some pasta from scratch. Like, yes. play with food. That's the most important. Love playing with food. I get paid to play with food, so. Yeah, you guys. And baking is so fun. Oh, my gosh. And it's good to do with every age. And there's so much science in baking and cooking. Watching this while I clean my garage. Oh, good for you. That's what... That's what I love to do. I just love Sierra Rose just joined. What's up, Sierra? Heaven Prado. I'm waving at you. I'm waving at Sierra. Well, we're waving, but you know who's really waving? All of Family Church Youth right here. Because this is this is what it's for. Okay, you guys, I think there's another question. Can oh Ruby has a great Can us kids cook with you guys? Oh my gosh. Okay, Ruby. This is what it's all about, cooking together. <laughs> so what do you guys like to make? We'll make it together. Well, um, to answer that right? question, oh. yes. <coughs> quarterly, I uh, usually do a cooking class for the youth uh, at Family Church at their beautiful uh, kitchen. State of the art. Um, amazing kitchen uh, across the street from the sanctuary uh, below the gym. Um, but of course in the situation right now, um, we're not able to gather. So that's why we're, we're doing this online class. Um, but yeah, later on in the future, Ruby, um, you can come out and, uh, cook with us, uh, at the church and, uh, we all have a great time and, uh, learn some cool stuff and eat some good food and, uh, uh, have some great fellowship. Yes. And hey, if there's any youth in here that have been to the cooking class, the youth cooking class. Oh, who's been to Give my a classes? holler! Give a holler! Ironic Mike just joined. We're waving at you. Iro oh, Ironic. Ironic. I'm sorry. Yes! See, hey, Sierra's been in our classes. Mak Makayo! Makayo, what is up, Makayo? Mahalo for joining us. You guys, we have some more questions. We have a um, brisket class. Oh, brisket class Who wants from to make Willie. Oh, Willie, you want to make we'll, we'll side, one? We'll sidebar on that. <laughs> yes. Hey, that's a great, that's uh, a great you suggestion. Could, you, could, you could braise it or you could smoke it. You could roast it. You could do all kinds of stuff with the brisket. The main thing about your brisket is the rub. The rub. And I got a secret recipe rub that I can't share with you. Sorry. But maybe in a class you can. No. Oh, okay. It's my recipe. Well, well, you guys, this the whole point of today, if you guys are just jumping in, we, we made simple top ramen for youth to try at home. It's a safe, easy dish. We uh, Christian gave you guys some great pointers on a good grilled cheese. What's the secret, you guys? What do you think the secret behind a good grilled cheese sandwich was today? The... Butter, the butter. The butar. The butar, butter. Sushi class, Nayeli, did you join us in our sushi class? That oh. was- Oh. Yeah, were you there? Were you the there? Sushi class? Oh, you guys should do sushi on live. Oh my gosh. 
Hey, what if we did like... I did a sushi class for the youth about a couple months ago and it was... Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was. The kids were great. Oh my gosh. They got so creative. We did like flaming hot Cheetos on top. Sushi is a funny thing too because it's so cheap to make right, and so they charge you so much money for that sushi. Yeah. You could honestly make it at home for nothing and all you got to really learn is the technique of rolling, rolling. rolling the roll. Rolling the sushi roll if you know how to roll it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Danny, you were there? He went to that one. Danny. Danny, what high school do you go to? Hey, youthers. Youthers, type in what high school or junior high you go in in here. So we can shout it out. Shout, shout it out. Shout. 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 Okay. Let it all out. Um, let's see. Oh, we got a question from a youth. Sierra Rose wants a chili. Chili class question mark? We can mark? do that. We can question do that. mark? Like some chili. I love, I love, I love chili. chili cheese dogs. Chili, chili cheese fries. Chili here. burger. Um, chili by itself. Ch got some chili gumbo. Some <laughs> yeah, what's up, Pastor Oscar? The Gillerator. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Whittier High School. What's up, Cardinal? St. Paul, Sierra Rose. St. Paul. Hey, Sierra, what's St. Paul's mascot? Okay. Linwood High School. We got... <gasps> I got to I was born I, in Linwood. Yes, Christian was born in Linwood. Um, so you Richie, yo Richie. Danny, I think I remember you. Did you guys have like there was a couple like football guys or I don't I don't think there were swimmers. Okay, I think there's another question. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, look at this. This is a great question. How many recipes can I do with ramen noodles? Whoa, they're, how do we answer uh, that? They're infinite. Infinite. You can put anything in the ramen. Yeah. You put anything in there. Yeah. You could uh, throw some pork in it, some beef in it, some chicken in it, and vegetables, and just different combinations. And you know what? I was even thinking. You you know how we used ham for the grilled cheese today? You can slice the ham up in little tidbits and like fry them so that they're crispy like bacon, and then you could top that on your ramen with some green onions. Gotta have some green onions, the scallions. Sky, sky's the limit when the it comes to ramen. ramen. You, you, could, you could pour, pour some Cheerios in it. Yeah. You could put popcorn in it. You could do whatever you want. Johannes! Do whatever you want with it. Johannes, what high school do you go to? Type it in, type it in the box. Okay, you guys, well, hey, I'm gonna do a little dessert. <laughs> you guys, okay. I'm gonna do a staple dessert and we're, we're gonna wrap it up, okay? I know that this this is just a little treat, okay? How many of you guys have? Sonora, Sonora, Christian's still here with us, okay? How many of you guys have Oreos? The cooking live was amazing, I loved it. Stay safe and God bless, yes. You guys, I'm gonna do a quick creative um, dessert for after your ramen and grilled cheese. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be less than a minute. Uh, it's very then we'll, sugary. Then we'll, then we'll have a question. Yeah. Nayeli, have a beautiful day. Thanks for joining. Okay, so you get a plate. Okay. The question's coming up, guys. Oh, yeah, because we got to give away this apron before we go. Okay. Sabina has Oreos. Okay. Now. And Cody will be delivering it to Cody, you. Cody, your youth pastor will be delivering it straight to you. How cool is that? How many of you guys, how many of you guys so are cool Oreo now. lovers? Christian? loves oreos he likes the double stuff i don't necessarily like the double stuff i like the thin i like ones. to put it in my ice cream and break it up yeah i mean you can't you can't go wrong with that um have you guys tasted the dark chocolate oreos those are great i'm a dark chocolate fan i don't want to help you with the garage sabine <laughs> oh sabine you oh you asking pastor oscar for help thanks for the live have a good one stay safe you richie you stay safe thank you so much so all you have to do, it's so funny. This doesn't even look like it's double stuff. You take the Oreo, you separate it, okay? And then you get a butter knife. What is a butter knife? It's a knife that is slightly serrated, but it's not as sharp as a chef knife or like a steak knife, okay? And then you take some peanut butter. Our, we like Laura Scudder's. Get this at Walmart. Too many Oreo selections. It is. There's are. There's so many selections. Yeah, a dark chocolate Oreo. Oh, you guys, I'm, I froze. This froze. I don't know. I, I hope that you're still with me, but it froze. Uh-oh. Let me see if I could do this. Uh-oh. You guys still there? Oh, no. 
It froze. If you guys are still with me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, let me see. It totally froze. Hey, go on your, oh, there we go, there. Oh, you guys, okay, woo! Okay, we froze, oh, it paused, okay. So, what are we doing right now? We're doing a quick dessert to end our ramen and grilled cheese. You take your Oreo, you separate it, you slather some peanut butter, some peanut butter, like that, like so. What's up, Ace of Nates? And then you, if you want Nutella, if you're a Nutella fan, you could put some Nutella, okay? And then you swish it around. And then you guys, you guys like savory and sweet? Well, check this out. We're gonna do sweet and sour. We're gonna put some sour patch. I'm not even kidding. Some sour patch, Makalani, sour patch kids. Look, you put, you put the sour patches on the Oreo, right like that. And look, then you, you could put another layer of peanut butter or Nutella, and then you make a Oreo, peanut butter, Nutella, sour patch, Oreo sandwich. And then you take a bite. Mmm, so good. No sound. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Okay, you guys, hopefully we still have sound. I'm gonna pick this up. We're gonna do um, one more question from you guys that, tur that just turned gross. It's delicious. Okay, let's see if we can get the, the question. Stay safe. That's our only thing. No, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hold on here. Can we do a fried chicken class? Oh, yeah. Ooh, from Natalie. I've done a fried chicken class before. Um, I love fried chicken. So, yes, we could definitely do a fried chicken class, and I can show you uh, breading techniques and different um, ways to make your fried chicken. And Sure. Yeah, anytime, you guys. Okay, we're giving away the apron. I have sound. Oh, okay, so Sabina, you have sound. Maklani, you can hear us. You lost me a Sour Patch. Okay, so you know what? You don't have to put a Sour Patch in there. Okay, <laughs> right now we're gonna give away the apron. And I'm gonna be looking for the answer. The first person to types in the answer in the comment box will be getting this apron. Now, here's our question. Okay, guys, first one to type in the answer wins the apron and it will be delivered by Cody. Yeah. And the question is, what does mise en place mean? The translation of mise en place. What does mise en place mean? Hint. No hint. No hint. No, it's, I'm just, I'm just saying. Chef oh. Christian talked about it at the beginning. At the beginning. Does, does anybody anyone, have the answer? Does anyone have the answer? What does mise en place mean? What does mise en place mean? What does mise en place mean? We are waiting to see. No answer. You need to post your recipe you have. Oh, you, you, hey, did you want the, the ramen recipe or the grilled cheese recipe or, or, or my lovely Oreo dessert recipe? Mise, mise en place. What does mise en place mean? No one knows. No one remembers. Okay, let's see. We're going to wait for a little moment. I hope it's not on our end that something has froze. Hold on, let me go. <laughs> <laughs> you can't win the apron, uh, Lena. You thirst. You thirst. <laughs> Youthers. All Let's right, uh, we'll try another question. Give us a hint. Give us a hint. You should have been paying attention. That's the hint, Sabine. Um, okay, moving along. What are the ingredients of mirepoix? There's three things in mirepoix. What are they? Yes. What is in mirepoix? Mirepoix. Johannes says it's to set the table. I love that guess, though. Yeah, but you're wrong. Uh, what is mirepoix? <laughs> mirepoix. Does any did anyone catch what mirepoix is? We said it two times, but I don't know. Were you guys tuned in? Were you guys like like just watching or like did it tune out the other year? <laughs> okay, to set the table. I love that answer. It's not the right answer, but it makes sense. The proportion of ingredients: 50, 25, and twenty-five percent. That is correct. Ooh. But what are the ingredients? What are the ingredients? I know what the saying means, but I'm so old. <laughs> Proportion hint. Onion, celery, and... You're still Ooh. wrong. You're still wrong. Designed by Nish. Thanks for joining. Onion, celery, and... Okay, any youth out there? There's one more thing. 
Sabini put carpet. I know what you're trying to type, Sabini. It's a vegetable. That's orange. <laughs> it's not carpet, though. It's what? Can, can a youth... Will a youth type in the three ingredients for Mirepoix? We're waiting. We're waiting to see, because then you will win this apron. You guys, this apron is amazing. It's Jean. Don't touch me. <laughs> um. <laughs> Don't touch me. We play, we play. Carrot. It's autocorrect. Carrot. Okay, you guys, we're waiting for a youth. If there's any youth watching. Are there youth watching still? Yes. There's, you're, you're not, not a, a youth, youth Sabina. Sabina. Ah, you are a youth to us always. <laughs> So we're waiting for a winner. We're waiting for a winner. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're okay, waiting what's the name of winner. this hat? What's the name of this hat? Does anyone know? Remember the name of the hat? Yeah, not me, the LOL. Ha ha Hillary. Celery, onion, carrot. Ooh, Willie just won. Yeah, but you're not eligible, Willie. Willie. Or you, Bella. You're a true winner. <laughs> Isabella, you're a true winner too. <laughs> Willie got there first. But give it. To the youth, give it to the youth. So you guys, if there's any youth in, in this live, all you have to do is type in. It's a hat. Oh, Sabina, you won it. Wait, what did I just you make uh, a few okay. minutes ago? I don't think there's any youth anymore. They're gone, huh? You know what, Danny they're and Nelly. Youth, they're doing youthful things. They're, they're like, they're like, we're 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 done with the kitchen. Come on, youth. Exactly. I don't think there's youth, any youth. Type it. There's no youth there. <laughs> All, so you know what? Sabine? All you bored adults at home. <laughs> you guys, a hat. Johannes is you, a hat. Johannes just won. No, it's called. Because he said, "What? The, what is this called?" He it's said, called a toque. Yeah. Well, he. Well, I guess. He, oh, what was the question? <laughs> Johannes, you know what? You know what? You are the winner. We're just gonna. Oh, Hillary is typing it. The letters in. Nelly isn't there. Nelly, look it. Hillary is helping you guys, okay? She is typing in the correct answer. So for any youth, she just types in the name of the hat. Type it in and you will win. Not this apron, but Co Pastor Cody will, will deliver one to you. Okay, maybe there's no youth left. So you know what? We're gonna declare a winner. Yeah, you won it. He delivered. Johannes delivered. Johannes delivered. All right. Okay, okay. you guys. Johannes, um, <clears throat> Cody's going to get a new apron like this straight to you. And when you put it on, you're going to make so many amazing things. Is that right, honey? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, you guys. If you don't have any more questions, we're going to call it an Instagram live out. Johannes. Please say he's a, oh yeah, he's a youth. Yes, Johannes is a youth. He's a youth? Cheating at its finest. <laughs> Johannes, we are so proud of you for finally like typing in the answer. Okay, you guys stay safe. Don't forget um, Family Church Youth every week has so many things planned every single day. If you haven't um, followed them on Instagram, please follow them. And um, Family Church has four service times on Sunday morning, 8, 10, 12, and 2. Tune in, and we'd love to have you guys there, and we love you guys. Stay safe. Mwah. God bless you. Woohoo! Ending.